Chris are commentating this match, so he's a little bit edgy. But we've told him we're going to be kind. We won't be too hasty. And he's played a good lag shot, Chris. Darren? Yeah, he's always been very good at the laggers, Darren. And he's one of them players that if he does get in front of you, he's very hard to peg back. But this is only a race to five, very short race. So it's going to be quick fire action. And today, we bring in the 30 second shot clock. First rack, Darren Atherton to break. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on how that unfolds throughout the day. But, you know, every player in this tournament's used to that. So I don't think it's going to matter too much. Let's see how Darren's hitting him. Decides to play the cup break, Chris. Yeah, and this is going to be a little tester. First shot on the two ball. I do expect him to make it. But he can't really get good position onto the three. We'll probably see Darren play this two into the top left and then play a combo. There we see him playing the cut break. A lot of players have been hitting the head ball and trying to stop the cue ball. Darren's decided to do the cut break and he's brought from the left hand side of the table where we haven't seen too many people break from. And that's a bad miss from Darren there. Early in the game, so you can expect it. It wasn't easy, but also there's a lot of pressure on him because we're, we all know what he's won in the game. But he has been out for some time. He's, he's been doing quite a lot of fishing, I believe. Well, if he keeps missing him by that far, he might be back on the lake. He might be in the lake if he keeps missing <laughs> him by that far. Now he's under a little bit of pressure. It wasn't the easiest of shots. Wow. Well, both players missing open shots at the two ball. So is this going to be a, a story of the match? I mean, this one was a lot easier than Darren's. I mean, should be going nowhere near the far jaw. Always hit the rail on that shot. Makes a huge pocket. Daz goes at a bank. So we've had, we're three shots in and three misses, Chris. Well, at least they're consistent. <laughs> Billy sporting the mullet. We've seen that in the Moscone. No, it's grown see. a few inches. It's a lifestyle, not a hairstyle. Yeah, Billy's not left himself an easy opportunity. He's got to play a good combination key with this shot is just pick your point where to it on the eight ball just try and forget that the eight is there you're just aiming the three into a certain point on the rail good shot there from Billy needs a little bit of luck here and he's got it and he's perfect nice little angle on the three to come down for the pink four ball in turn, natural position to get to the five. Yeah, while well, Billy runs this table, I'll just give you a, a little up down table two. It's Albin Ocean playing David Alcade. David Alcade, a little bit unlucky yesterday. He literally lost out by qualifying for the semi finals by a rack or two. So he's back today. Albin just survived that group. He lost day one's final against my. But in the com box, Chris Mallin, and then he nearly went out of the event yesterday. And I just hope for Alvin's sake he uh, comes with a better attitude today. So here's Billy on the five. Playing up for the green six. Spins it a couple of rails. And this will settle him down, won't it, Chris? Yeah, Billy's the type of player who, who likes to get on with it. He's a quick, quick player. Like to spin the ball everywhere. And his nickname of Banking Billy. He doesn't miss many bank or double shots, as we call them in England. Key to this shot is light hands because the spin doesn't yeah, really. This is close to scratching. Well, he needed to hit that ball a little bit thicker with slower left hand spin. That way, the cue ball would have come below the centre pocket and wouldn't have been in any danger. And this is the first rack, and we've seen them both miss relatively makeable pots. Wow, that was a, a bad miss. 
You twitch that one more than a one-legged ferret. Yeah, this is a bad miss. I mean, I've heard of missing it on the pro side, but that was the bad side, wasn't it? So this is a, a nervy opener, and I'm sure Darren didn't think he was going to get back to the table, so this is like a free shot. Often see this shot on a pool table, players playing a full-length bank, and it's close. He's made it. Great shot there from Daz. That'll settle him down. Yeah, that's a wonderful bank shot, to be fair. And it was a free go, and he'll be glad to see that nine ball disappear. And The problem with Billy there is once you miss a ball like that, it just puts you under a different type of pressure as where if he'd have got down and knocked that nine ball in, he's sat in his chair feeling good. Now he's got bad thoughts running through the brain. Yeah, and it was all, all about the positional shot to the nine. If he would have landed below the centre pocket, it would have been an easy nine ball. But because he caught the, the grunt of the middle, he left a tricky nine. He should have made it. But he missed and left Darren an opportunity, and Darren took it. Yeah, and then that's his um, DJ. He's an English eight ball player. Luckily for us, he's managed to come down to the event and he's doing the shot clock. So that is the man right there who's in charge of Bracken our two. shot clock. Break, one there he is, picks the Time shot running. clock up. And Billy Thorpe is breaking, so if there's any kind of redemption, he's got the break. So let's see how Billy's breaking. Not really seen Billy in many of the kind of individual matchroom events, so he might be feeling a little bit of pressure Chris yeah and he'll be delighted with that break absolute perfect break off made two or three balls and he's straight in on the two ball and for his own sanity and to keep his own confidence he should run out here yeah, key shot coming up, just make the ball. Cue ball naturally comes over to the correct side of the table. Perfect there on the four ball. Needs it to roll a little. Doesn't want to be stuck on, on the cushion, but probably play a stop shot here. Or maybe roll through to the top rail. I think I'll be playing the stop shot just to leave a guaranteed angle on the six to get to the seven. Billy Thorpe, 24 years of age, represented Team USA in the Moscone Cup a few times. He's a bubbly character and he's a big action man. He likes to play challenge matches and travels around America doing that and super nice guy. Well, that's a poor shot there from Billy. Very surprised that he hasn't ran the cue ball off the top rail to play for the eight in the same pocket as the seven. Yeah, Chris, I, I was I was sat here thinking, am I seeing things? I've never really seen a nine ball player play that type of shot. Yeah, if you're going to play that shot, you need to be high on the eight ball. Therefore, the natural angle is to come down for the nine. Well, this is disastrous start from Billy. It has to be said. He's better than this. I mean... He's had golden opportunities in both racks and, you know, if you're Darren Appleton and you're coming here, we've seen Darren miss a couple of balls in the first rack, so he's obviously edgy himself and he's just been gifted two racks. Daz has played a, a good shot there to get on the eight. Perfect position on the nine. And this for Darren to take a 2-0 lead. Where you can see queuing very flat off the rail, very still on the shot, centre of the pocket. Well, Darren Appleton's potted three balls and he's 2 0 up, Chris. Yeah, and he'll be delighted really because he knows he hasn't played his best as yet, but it's early days. We know what he's capable of, and you don't win the titles that he's won without being able to dig in when you're not playing well.
Yeah, Darren will break now in rack three. Billy's, he's not going to be feeling good. One good thing, obviously Billy's still in this match. I'm not counting him out just yet, but if he does go on to lose, he'll be back. There's plenty more matches and over on table two, Albin Ocean survived a little scare late last night and he looks to be a little bit better focused today. I think he's going to be a new, a new player and... I'm sure he will have learned his lessons. Rack number three. I actually Don't tipped Albin to uh, today to, to get through. I believe he's uh, got over his agony from the first day. You know, it seemed to bother him yesterday. The torture you put him through. Yeah, it's nice to torture the opponent. But it could have been the other way around quite easily. Good break there from Darren. Nicely on the one ball. Got two options. He can either pot the one in the side pocket and screw into the six ball to hold the two, or he can play the cue ball up and down. I think he'll draw it into the six ball. Just depends on the angle. If he's got a, a thin, a thinner cut that we c than we can see, it'll go up and down with the cue ball. But if he can hold it, it'll definitely screw into the six. Well, we can see there he can't screw into the six. <coughs> perfectly on the two yeah I mean one thing you probably won't see is when Darren Appleton smells blood you know he usually gets the job done he doesn't kind of throw a silly rack away and let his opponent back in the match and he will have smelt blood you've seen Billy hack at a nine ball and then hack at an eight ball. Landed a little bit short there, Carl. Wanted to be high on the three. Again, to come down the table for the four, but he's okay. Choice of options, soft stun off the rail or screw into the nine ball. straight on the four but you can either draw this back or stop it dead and leave a long six I think you probably try draw it back it does make the shot a little bit harder but you're expecting to make this What a start this is for Darren Carl. I bet he didn't expect to be 3 0 up at the break after his first miss. We'll certainly take it. Yeah, he played a good bank shot to steal that first rack, and this simple nine will put Darren Appleton 3 0 up in his first match of the event, and we'll be back in a little while. Does he lose that rack there? Because you're not meant to touch the balls while the cue ball was still moving.
This championship is being played with the new RMS tournament set. Featuring a unique molecular structure, it guarantees razor-sharp precision and unsurpassed longevity. Unquestionably the best pool balls in the world, this set is available in a TV and a value pack version, as well as in the new My RMF range of ball and Q cases. Now you can bring and play with the best ball set everywhere you go. My RMF, bringing new dimensions to your billiards experience. Welcome back to the Predator Championship League pool here on day three. Darren Appleton, he's playing Billy Thorpe and a bit of a strange start to the match, but he's leading 3-0. Billy Thorpe does not look at the races. I'm joined by Chris Mellon for this match. Chris qualified on day one. And then you see Billy Thorpe staring at the floor. Now he does have the break. The last time he broke, he had a glorious opportunity to run the rack, which he failed at. So let's see how he gets on with this break. Wing ball goes in. Cue ball was getting kicked near the side. Didn't go in the side. And he's got a long shot, Chris. Yeah, and it's all about staying still. Keep your head still on this shot. Just deliver uh, the cue in a straight line but it's very important that it keeps still on the shot it seems to be jumping around a little bit and this is of the utmost importance to win this rack Good shot there from Billy. Got a couple of options. He can stun the two ball into the top right hand corner, come off the rail. But he needs to be where he is now with the cue ball for position to get onto the four. Doesn't want to be short, because that way there's no way to get back to the four ball. He's also got the option of playing the combination where he's going around the back. This is a good shot. Needs it to pull up. Is he straight? He may not have a chance to get on the four ball. May have to roll this through, leave the cue ball near the jaws of the corner pocket. He's opting to draw the cue ball out. Is he going to live up to his nickname of Banking Billy and bank this four ball? Yeah, I think a lot of players on tour would have risked rolling that through, but Billy, the banker. Well, he misses the bank. Well, you'd put your life on him making them bank shots. He doesn't hardly miss a bank. And he's left Darren a good opportunity here. May not look like an easy shot to get to the four ball, five ball. But if you can... Doesn't want to hit this too hard with top left hand spin. If he hits it too hard, it'll just top on himself. He's looking to screw around the back of the six. This isn't easy. If he misses a six ball, it'll be perfect. Little too hard. He has got a good safety. And that was poor judgment there. He could have underhit that shot by a long, long way and still been fine on the five ball. Yeah, he had a big margin for error there. I think it was one too many Weetabix at breakfast. And he won't be happy with that. He's left an open shot at the four. And again, 
Billy's the type of player who will go for the double. Second go at a bank shot for Billy the banker. This is a lot harder than his previous effort, but I think he's going to play this in the bottom left pocket. I think he's missed that one. And he stuck it up for Darren to take a 4-0 lead. And he'll be delighted with this one, Darren. First match on the table. And this is all you can ask for. Started off a little bit twitchy. Gave Billy an opportunity, but Billy didn't take it. And Darren has. Well, that was a heart on the sleeve moment. Very close to going in off in the side pocket there. Didn't need to be anywhere near there. Oh, he's still got a good shot at the seven. So this simple nine ball for Darren Appleton will get him on the hill. And the story continues in this match. Billy Thorpe had a chance, didn't take him, 4-0. I'm not sure if Darren's aware, Carl, but he's not meant to be picking the balls out of the pockets. I don't think he's been told. I think one of the referees may need to advise him in his next match not to touch the balls yeah I'm sure you will learn there he is Fatunski from Poland played phenomenal pool yesterday for me probably the best player all day and he was involved in a classic semi-final clash which he just lost out to Kelly Fisher Kelly Fisher will be up next on the match table, playing Fortunski. Yeah, totally agree, Carl. I thought he was the best player all day, along with Catchy. No surprise to see them two in the semi-final. But Catchy came out the winner on day two. So, Daz has had a couple of breaks. If we're being ultra-critical, probably a hair thin on the cue ball, but still very successful. There you see it again, still a little bit low. That's why the cue ball's staying down the bottom of the table. Yeah, most of the players are hitting the, the object ball head on, where Darren seems to be kind of cut breaking a little. He's, what he's trying to do is break and send the cue ball to the middle diamond on the right hand cushion. He's just catching it a little thin. He does have a shot here though, I think he goes up to the top left pocket, so... It may go in the middle, can't quite see from the angle that we're looking at, but it certainly goes in the top pocket. One good shot here will give him a good chance to win this opening match and get his first point on the board. Yeah, and this will give him some confidence, as hasn't played a great deal of events lately. As we all haven't, but Darren had a couple of years out due to uh, off the table problems. But he's back with a vengeance. In his head, he's certainly back in the game. Yeah, he's still hungry for success. He's won pretty much every pool tournament you can possibly win. And he's still got that hunger and desire to compete. Update on table two, David Alcade is playing Albin Ocean, David leads 2-1, Albin's just missed a very, very simple sixth ball, so the nightmare continues. Well, we've run the seven ball slightly, he's okay, it's a nice little stun shot off the rail. How's this for your first match to stamp your authority to win it 5-0 against Billy Thorpe? 
Well, on day one, Chris, you also won your first match 5-0, so... Darren's playing a little bit of copycat pool there. David Alcade has just missed a straight in six ball. So it's shenanigans on table two, but on table one, this is a quick fire match. Darren Appleton out the gates quick, wins 5-0. Up next on this match table, ladies world I'll nine ball I'll champion, I'll Kelly Fisher. He's playing Mersko Vachunski. We'll be back shortly. 